Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central, and today we're taking a look at the Connect adapter for Windows. So basically, if you have a spare Connect from your Xbox One, not the Xbox 360, but the One, you can use this cool device to connect it up to your Windows 10 PC. Uh, and what's really neat about it, it's about $50, so it's not too expensive. It is, however, a little bit pricey if you have to buy the Connect as well as you're going to probably look upwards of uh, $200. But with this device, you can connect it up to a USB 3.0 port, and it has to be that because you need the power and data transfer in order to support it. Um, you, it's a kind of a messy setup, uh, and that's on top of the Connect itself, which is rather huge. And you're going to probably definitely need a tripod to mount the Connect up if you plan on using it for your computer. Now, you may be wondering what can you do with the Connect right now to your Windows 10 PC, and the answer is actually not very much. It does, however, work with Windows Hello, and it actually works very well with that. So if you're looking for a way to sign into your computer and you have a spare Connect, you may want to consider doing this. However, I won't say it's going to be very practical. Like I said, you do need a tripod in order to mount it, unless you want to rest it on top of your monitor like I did, but that's not very safe. Uh, on top of that, there is one downside right now, actually a few of them, but the other is it cannot be used as a standard web camera. So if you're looking to use this for Skype or even just the camera app or any app that utilizes the camera API for Windows 10, uh, you can't do that. Now, put into perspective, this is a beta release of the Windows 10 support for Connect. So uh, this is something that's going to be evolving probably over the next few months, and I wouldn't be surprised that the camera API comes out for it. After all, it does technically work when you do the Windows Hello setup. You can see it. It's actually a very nice camera. So I imagine we'll see more support of this coming to Windows 10. But Mind you, this is mostly geared for developers right now. However, for consumers, you could technically use it for Windows Hello if you want to do it. But like I said, you got to spend that $50 for the connector. It's not very practical at this time, but it is rather cool. And we'll probably see Connect technologies merge more into Windows 10 hardware in the coming years. So if you want to get a head start on it, you can do that now. For more information on how to set this up, including getting the beta drivers, which requires a little bit of registry tweaking, head to Windows Central for more information, and we'll have it there for you. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.